take a look at this song. There aren't too many chords. There's the A minor, D7, and a G. And the, uh, the little opening bit repeats throughout the song. And it's off of this A minor chord. It's a hammer on the fourth string, the D. You hammer on that second fret. And then catch the third string. Then you're going to do a slide on the third string from the second to the fourth. And then back to the to the A minor, and as you're moving up there, you can strike the fifth and the second string. And then when you finger the A minor, you will do a hammer on up here, so you'll get You can experiment with that a little bit. You might want to have the index finger hit before the rest of the chords in the, the intro. the A minor chord. Okay, when he plays that too, you can, there's a video of him doing it on here on YouTube. Uh, you'll notice he actually does do this when he when he does the vocals. He does do that lick, and it's a little bit tricky at first. But if you kind of think of it as baby, I. If you visualize it sort of like that, at least it made it a little bit more workable for me. Baby, I want you. Okay. Uh, and then the, the chorus, it just goes, bounces between A minor. Don't you leave me here on my own. And we're going between the fifth string and the fourth for the bass. I believe that's that's sure looks like it on the D on the on, on both of these chords actually and after the uh, course it goes back to the, the uh, verse one one little thing is uh, the second time through on the chorus he, he goes to a, a G uh, if you listen through to it you'll hear hear what that's about hear where that comes in and uh, Oh, a couple of things I was going to mention. In the uh, studio version, he plays it. And he, when he's finger picking this, you know, he's just, just catching the strings, the regular A minor. But when he did it live, it looked like he was playing it, and you can pretty distinctly hear him doing this. hear and see him doing that. So so sometimes he plays it like that. So that's sort of your choice. And uh, I, for, I, I guess I forgot this little part, but... And then when you, when you transition to the G, you do this little pull off here, which is similar to, to what we did in a, another one of his songs. Just the A minor, use these two fingers to catch the second and third strings and do a pull off with your well a pull off of the uh, third string doesn't sound too good right there but when you're playing it at speed you can hear it then you come here and hit the uh, D fourth fourth string and then the third and then go on over to your G so you have the uh, this is fretted at the second fret One chord that's used here and in, 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 uh, that I talk about a lot is, is the Dylan C, and he uses it here for this transition. Then, so, so let's just get to that part. Sorry. So we're to the to the G, and you'll hear that. Just go to the Dylan C, which I talk about in another video. Do a pull off of this, and uh, if you kind of keep it 
on there, it might seem like a little bit too long, but if you keep it on there, and then when you hit this uh, C note on the uh, second string, you can do the pull off it. It'll, it'll. So it's something like. So I believe that's it. Uh, good luck. Hope this uh, helps you to uh, learn to play this song. Mm -hmm.